If you've seen those really cool movies where they've done hyperlapse shots using a drone and you want to do that on your DJI Mini 3 Pro and you've looked at the controller and you've been totally overwhelmed by all the settings. Well, in this masterclass, we're going to go through how to do a flight plan, how to set up the RC controller, choose all the different flight modes and how to fine tune them. But first, let's understand hyperlapse and time lapse. Now, time lapse is where you're camera or your drone is in a stationary position, taking a series of photos, played back as a video, where everything looks like it's speeded up. Hyperlapse is the same except the camera or drone is moving, so you get a much more dynamic view. So planning is really important before you even go out. Finding a location where there's going to be a lot of movement will be much more interesting and you will see the effects of the hyperlapse. You also want to make sure it's safe to fly in that area and there's no restrictions. You want to be sure you've got a set of very full batteries because you will eat through them. And of course, the DJI Mini 3 Pro is an ideal drone to do this with. It's got a fantastic crisp camera and it works really well in low light as well. So to do this as a night shot would be absolutely awesome. Now, I've got the perfect location in Hemel Hempstead. And it's unique for the magic roundabout built in 1973, made up of six roundabouts, all around one large roundabout where the cars go in both directions. Only in Great Britain, right? Now, when we want to set up the settings on the controller here, you want to go down to the bottom right hand side and you can see at default it's on 1080p. So we can click that to 4K photos. We can have JPEG or RAW for this. I'll just keep them on JPEG. Let's go through all these functions now for the hyperlapse. We go to the symbol where you've got the video or photo icon. You click on that and we just scroll down to hyperlapse. And then we can see we've got our four options, our free flying, our circle, our course lock and our waypoints. So let's just do free to start with. And you'll see it gives you a little diagram showing you that you can use all the controls while you're uh, doing this and it'll go in any direction and up and down. At the bottom, you'll see it's got the time and the amount of frames. So if we just click the little down arrow, we can see here it's got two second intervals. The length of this will be five seconds the maximum speed it will be it says half a meter per second and we can change this to for example three meters per second so let's click ok this says it's going to be a four minute duration now I've changed that you can just change the length let's say we want to do a four second clip that's going to take three minutes 20. let's just get this up into position and we'll do the aerial shot and we're going to try it's very windy but we're going to try and put it over the top of the magic roundabout and for this shot i want to look right down on the magic roundabout make sure we're in normal mode and we're going to start our time lapse and i'm just going to go up and turn once it's done that we can preview it by clicking the play button just underneath the record button So now let's do circle. Let's click on the circle. It gives you a little example of what that'll look like. We're going to use that as our target. So we're going to select that whole building. Click on the drop down arrow. Two second intervals, four seconds in length, which will make a nice little clip. And then speed, we've got three meters per second. And we can choose clockwise or counterclockwise. It's giving me a battery warning, but let's give it a go. But two minutes to go and already it's giving me a low battery warning. So as we'd said before, one of the key things here is to make sure you've got very full batteries. Once we've completed this move, we'll change the batteries and then we'll do the next section of the hyperlapse. And that's it, it's completed the move and it's going to create the video. And we can, again, we can preview that. So we're just going to stop there, return to home. No, 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 not a force landing. Not a force landing. No. No, stop. Okay, shh. So I've lost my drone. I've just had a little heart attack when my drone ran out of batteries and it decided to make a forced landing and I couldn't stop it, even though I was hitting the pause button to cancel that. And uh, it landed just near this magic roundabout in the middle of like some buildings and some car park. Anyway, I've used Find My Drone and I managed to find it. And there she is. 
sat there, undamaged. A tiny bit of battery left. Guys, it's really windy. My phone's already blown over. So uh, we'll have to see how this goes. But uh, we're going to do course lock. And if we click these little arrows, you'll see there's a lock sign there. So we're going to get it into position, point it where we want it to be, directly we want it to fly in, point the gimbal in the direction that we want the camera to be facing, and then it will fly along on that course we've set. Okay, so we're going to tell it to go in that direction. It is locked. We're going to do three seconds, speed it up a little bit. Then we'll point the gimbal in a different direction and press go. And just let it move along that course. Now, with the strong winds, it's going to use up batteries a lot quicker. But we've got a fresh battery in there. It says three and a half minutes, so we've definitely got time to capture this. As you can see, I've expanded the view here of the map and you can see the course we locked in and you can see the direction the drone is pointing. So it's going to give similar to like a parallel effect. And you can see the red and the green. The green's the start point. The red is where it's going to finish the maneuver. And of course you can see where we are. Now we're going to do waypoints, so you just drop down to the next point. Now, you do need full batteries for this, so we'll give it a go. We'll see how we do on this battery. Um, we're not too far away, so what we need to do is put it into its different positions. So that's for example, set the first waypoint to be here. And then we've got to rotate the camera a certain amount and it will give us a signal to say it's good. And I'm also going to take it up and over. And I'm going to set my next waypoint. And then I'm going to turn it again. Not too much. Take it over some more. Take it up a bit more and add that. Sequences could be normal. I'm going to keep the intervals and the length the same. So I've got a three minute duration. So I'll press go. It's got to fly back to its original point we set, then go through all those different waypoints doing the stop motion. It'll be interesting to see this because we've moved the angle and we've moved the height and we've moved it over to the side. So we'll just get a really interesting perspective of this environment. It's at moments like this when you've already had a forced landing that you're watching how much time you've got left and how much batteries you've got left in your drone and the tension's building. <laughs> Three minutes suddenly seems like a really long time. And on the controller here, you can of course see the different waypoints we've set and the directions that the camera will be pointing so we can just see how far through the movement we are and we're coming up to waypoint three and boom we're creating the video so I think at this point I'm going to hit return to home I hope you found that useful and you're now a master of hyperlapse. So go out, give it a go. Let me know in the comments how you got on. Anything you weren't sure of, let me know. If you subscribe, let me know so I can personally thank you. And if you missed last week's video on active track, then you can find that just here. And for any other videos on drones, you can find that there. Please show me the love, subscribe to the channel, click on the subscribe button, and I will see you over here.